or snake top con bottom. What's going on, guys, and welcome back to the EGL DLC Grand Final. This is going to be so so exciting. We've got Team Snake going up against Team Con. You just look at this pre-game lobby and look at some of the names from Europe oh, right now. Man. So so strong. We've seen some amazing plays. Alexis, that three-piece, dude. That three-piece that shouldn't have even been possible, but it was. You know, just amazing play. We've got Jerd up in here as well. But if you're wondering, this is going to be a best of five. We've got Grind Hardpoint, yeah. Mirage Search and Destroy, Hydro CTF, Mirage Hardpoint, and Hydro S and D. This is just the Revolution DLC, you guys. But let us know oh, in the they chat. Lagged out. No, they lagged out, so we're going to be starting it over. It looks oh, like we've had whoa. some people leave. I guess okay. their classes were not set up or they wrong rules or something, so they'll get that fixed. But we're going to fill up some dead air here. But no, we've seen some exciting oh, matches. Height, damn it. I was building the height. <laughs> Man, and then he just crushed it, but hey, it is what it is. Let's just keep it going, though. But uh, some amazing names in here, especially from the EU. And so we've seen these teams totally dominate 2-0 their teams in a best of three in the semis. Mm -hmm. And so I'm expecting some great action between these two teams, maybe even going to the tiebreaker, which will be on a neutral host, by the way. Yes. As, uh, just figure that out as, as the guy posted that in the chat. But it's going to be really exciting for this best of five. They're both fighting for a Call of Duty um, map packs. Yes. As well as Turtle Beach headsets. So that's X7. Yeah. X7. So that's going to be really exciting. That's what they use on the MLG circuit. And I mean, totally, totally representable headset. So I, I would even love to have those uh, myself. But I, <coughs> cough, who cough. do you? Oh, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> cough, cough, week, week, yeah, right, send me some out, right? <laughs> <laughs> but who do you think is going to win this? Just right off the bat, who do you think is going to win? <sighs> You would ask me that, wouldn't you? Oh, most definitely I would. <laughs> team, team, team Snake, because they have the Jerd factor. It is all going to come down. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but it, on a serious note, you know, look at the teams on paper. Team Team Snake, you know, they're, they're so strong. they got Madcap moves, Ryder and Jerd. Um, don't get me wrong, Team Connection, very, very strong as well. But when you put these two teams to toe, I expect to see a fifth map thriller where Team Snake should just go ahead and take it right at the very end. But the teams, they're all ready and good. And if you're wondering, whoa, why is Shane playing? Don't worry, he's not actually going to be playing. It isn't a 5v4. Shane's probably just going to be doing some T1 coaching. And hopefully if we see some CTF. He's going to be doing some T1 flag run coaching as well. He's renowned for bamboozling the opposition. So do watch out for that. But like we said, Grind Hardpoint is going to be our first map from this grand final best of five this evening. And uh, Taylor, who do you want to get on board with first? Let's get on board with the man, Jerd. Jerd is going to go off with this foul. He's got such an amazing shot as well as Mad Cat with his foul as well. Both of them running that. And I'm just going to look through here. We got an MSMC and we got a combat knife out. Let's see if he pulls out his primary. He does. So we got two subs and two ARs as we see. Look at this. Team Snake making quick work of Team Connection coming in there. Jerd holding it down right now. Spawns look like they are going to be flipped. Jerd, great awareness on that part. It's got two kills right now. What's the laugh about? What's going uh, it's, on? Just, it's just awareness, man. Like, it's a brand new map. You shouldn't even know the spawns and he, he, he just does. He, he just goes in. Like, it, it doesn't matter. Jerd just down. knows everything about the game. Madcap, meanwhile, <laughs> Three kills to his name, and just look at the control they've had of this first hard point. Not allowing any time difference going towards the opposition team. Team Snake starting this off very, very strong. Madcap on that five streak, he's mm. going to be so, so close to that health missile. miss out. And if he's smart, he could have just picked up a 200 points there, but no need. His teammates managed to get that kill. Jerd spawning on that backside. It's a good start so far from this team. Yeah, most definitely. Madcat, unfortunately, going down, unable to earn any score streaks. He was relatively close. Definitely going to come in big on such an open map here. Moose is just going to get the last points, and they're going to rotate around. It's going to be Team Connection taking it over. Kivy in there. Now, we've seen him go off with his combat knife. He's Not only is he good with his primary, but with his secondary as well, as he's able to tear it up. Josh, Petey, both on three kill streaks. Josh extending it to four, but gets taken out. Now, uh, Kivy knows there's going to be a guy in that hallway. He's able to take him out. Gets taken out himself. Elixity trying to hold it down. Gets a nice two-piece there on Moose as well as Jared pre-firing though that ramp and it looks like it's going to be a nice little uh, set of points here for Team Connection as they're getting a lot of points here locking it down they may in fact tie it up still eight minutes remaining so it could go either which way well, just having a quick look and seeing who is on any streaks. You've got Kivy on three. Make that four. I want to get on board with him and set a nice two-piece shutting down. Madcat and Ryder going back towards that hard point. And look at that. They may have not got any time on that first hard point, but they have had all the time on the second one. And they're actually going to go ahead and go into the lead. So mm. Team Connection not wasting any time at all. All players going down. But it is going to be the opposition. It's going to be Madcat and Co. who are going to be setting up on this next hard point. And I want to have a look at Mr. Madcat and see 
his amazing FAL abilities. Yeah, Madcap, we've seen him before in previous games. With that foul, he's done such a great job with it. He's able to spam it even through smoke, doesn't stop him. And as you see him holding down sort of an anchor roll, trying to make his way back, making his team, letting his team, uh, allowing, you know, controlling that outer edge, and gets in there. It's cur currently going to be contested. It's going to be taken over, though, by Josh. As Josh making a great run there. And they connection again, going to take the lead here. We saw it was Team Snake who had it. Now it's going to be Team connection though josh on a two kill streak working his way up towards that hellstorm it gets taken out is jared making an aggressive push coming in there with that msmc and josh though let's go where's josh at josh right here on uh, the second team now he's still rocking his mp7 let's go on board with him you said he was really good with the mp7 let's see if he's gonna be able to make work he does takes out one person but gets taken out himself yeah you got moose as well on a three kill streak for the opposition team he's on the hard point as well body. Well, he's just, he's just playing sneaky ninja tactics. He's just going to hide, hide in that dead body. It, it doesn't even matter. They don't even worry about that. Team Connection, then they're going to have the initial start on this next hard point. And can Moose try and break it? He's got the FAL out. His teammate Ryder's is going to pick up a two-piece. Moose picks up that 200, earns himself a Hellstorm Lightning Strike for his efforts. Is he going to get close towards that Stealth Chopper now? The interesting question is, is he going to back off the hard point, or is he just going to try and stay there and pick up a few kills? He's going to stay. See, Josh shuts him down, getting... Uh, oh, so close. Alexis is behind. Oh, oh he's going to be a kill off. He's so, so close to this stealth, but he needs support of his teammates. He's all by himself. Oh. Going to get challenged by two. Moose goes down. PT with a big, big kill right there. Yeah, Jared coming in there doing a great job. Ryder's going to take it over again, though, for his team. As you see Snake extending their lead to almost 30 points. He's going to get taken out, though, as they're going to be rotating over, hopefully, to the next hard point. It seems like both of these guys, though, are so involved with taking over each hard point that they don't even rotate. But as soon as I say that, I'm actually going to see Team Connection rotating over. And Jurge is going to lock down the remaining five seconds. As then they're going to take over this next hard point, which is going to be right over there. Actually, they seem a bit confused themselves, but they're going to take it over. Josh is going to be in there with his MP7. See somebody coming through that hallway, putting bullets in him. But then Kimmy's going to come up, take him out, and it gets taken out himself, allowing Ryder to come in there and take it over. And as I'm looking here, it is in fact going to be Moose still with the Hellstorm and Lightning Strike. He hasn't used them yet, has had no need to really break those hard points, as they've been so dominant with coming in there. Mad Cat, though, with a nice two piece, uh, just really going off. Snake impressing me at, right now at, in the most bit, you know? Yeah, Snake really playing it very, very well. Madcat, he's going to be trying to get on top of that hard point. Not going to happen, though. Pete's going to shut him down. And let's have a look. Anyone closer? It doesn't look like it. You know what? We'll switch up on board. Well, let's go on board with Pete from Team Connection. I say that he dies. Josh, one kill to his name. 16 seconds left on that hard point. Is he just going to set up on the next one? Well, he's taken down one player. He's the second. Not going to happen. Ryder managed to get the better of him this time. Moose on the hard point currently for Team Snake. And you can see Team Snake getting a bit of the lead. I saw a few predictions from the chat. A lot of people saying 3 0 to Team Snake. Uh, I'd be pretty surprised if that was the case. It could be, it well, could be possible. They're yeah. strong enough, but I'd be they very, very surprised. I'd be so, so surprised. You know, I would be surprised. You know, both of these teams, even though right now it is, in fact, going to be Team Snake taking the lead, you know, both teams have strong players on this team. As I saw in the chat, somebody posting, this is probably the best EU 8 lobby they've ever seen. <laughs> the best in there. So that's definitely impressive stuff. But Madcap breaking that harp on getting in there. Massive gunfights going on here. Both teams going at it. Just kills all around. As you see, just going back and forth through each team. Ryder and Jared trying to hold it off. Ryder on a three kill streak. Kenny gets taken out by Elixity as he comes in there and gets a nice two piece. And Elixity just going off. Let me look at the overall scoreboard here as we're looking at Team Snake 24 and 21, 14 or four Mad Cat. Now, relatively even scores those egg KDs on both teams as well as uh, even ex except Josh with nine captures absolutely breaking those hard points and Elixity going eight or nine defense now but both teams are relatively even and that's evident as you see the score 146 to 119 with still three minutes and 40 seconds many could go either way but as I'm looking at it right now snake though just winning those gunfights and able to break those hills a lot easier than team connection can do yeah, that's what it's all going to come down to. Who can break the hard points the quickest and control the hard points by getting all those defensive kills. And let's not forget, if you get a kill on that hard point, it's giving you extra points towards those score streaks. And a few score streaks did just go down on top of that map. I'm on board with Jerd right now. 36 seconds left on this hard point. He's going to jump on it, but no, Josh turns, having absolutely <laughs> none of that. Takes down Jerd with the MP7, but it isn't going to matter as oh, if I swear to God, if Jared had just one shot at that Hellstorm, I would have just put my controller down, put the headset, walked out <laughs> just, of the room. Just been done. That, that would have been the definition of done right there. But luckily for me, he didn't do that. He did get taken <laughs> down. But Team Snake, they have a very fragile lead. 12 seconds left before the half point rotates. Jared, he's going to be rotating now. There's going to be a player on the half point. Is he going to get him? No. A few hit markers. Ooh. Needs to challenge. Gets the assist. 
and Team Snake are going to be ahead once again. Yeah, Mad Cat earning his Hellstorm and Lightning Strike. Moose, I believe, has used both of them. Yes, he has. So Mad Cat right now controlling it. He's going to throw in a Lightning Strike, taking out Team Connection as they're trying to push in, but uh, didn't pick up with anybody. Is uh, really doing a great job. Team Snake doing a great job holding it down. 50 point lead right now. Moose on a two kill streak. Jerd on a two kill streak. Ryder and Moose trying to hold it down. As you see here, Ryder, or I was just on board with Ryder. He gets taken out, unfortunately, leaving up to Moose to try to hold it down. He's got that Scorpion with the firepower, and he's got an MP7 as well. So he's got two subs. You don't see that very often. You usually see a sub and an AR, but it seems to be working for him. 204, the 130, two minutes remaining. I can almost say the game's over for Team Snake. So he may take this and uh, making the prediction sort of true in the chat. Well. It's looking good. Madcat currently 31 and 26, playing so, so well. And by the time we get onto this next hard point, Team Snake are going to be able to win it just off this last hard point. Three seconds remaining before it switches. Jerd just trying to cover for Team for Madcat to pick up a kill, but not going to happen. Kibi destroyed Madcat right there, but Jerd, he's going to jump on that hard point, pick up the 200, earns himself a Hellstorm missile, close to the lightning, running straight through the smoke, sees a play to his left, and picks up the assist with that B2-3R, but that is going to be enough to earn him his lightning strike, and that is going to be the end of game one, surely. I say that, though. Well, it should no, be. No, that's it. That's it with, with uh, Jerk. Uh, getting him. Look at it. He got a four piece with the lightning strike coming in with the hellstorm able to pick up another person on a nine kill streak can he extend it to double digits as he's just passing but no he cannot time runs out but nonetheless very impressive stuff on his part 250 to 130 it's going to be team snake taking the first win over team connection in this best of five in the finals playing for that headsets turtle beach headsets as well as the map packs guys please keep tweeting out that stream let's get more people in here as we got two great teams two great eu teams going yes. against each other and uh this is this is excellent stuff i love this especially coming from uh, north america these two and i haven't seen these two teams play and I, or, or, even though they're not really teams they're pickup really teams. teams yeah Pick, well teams. but but still nonetheless <laughs> it's it's great action for both of these i'm so it impressed. is it is i mean you know pickup teams sometimes have that communicational error but you know these guys picking up for this evening's tournament no problem at all having a fantastic fantastic game but both these two teams when we saw them in the semi-finals just dominated the opposition uh, they were so so 